This is the Business Hour in partnership with Network B2B, helping you share your passion, knowledge, and make great connections. A warm welcome to Podcast for Business. Podcast for Business is all about helping businesses share their knowledge, passion, expertise, news of events, workshops, and seminars. A podcast for Business is brought to you in partnership with Network B2B, a structured networking in a relaxed environment. For more information about a group near you, visit networkb2b.co.uk. Thank you to this week's sponsor, Premier Homes in Spain. If you're looking for your own home in Spain, check out premierhomesinspain.com. All interviews featured in Podcast for Business first featured in the Business Hour podcast. The Business Hour podcast brings you feel-good music as well to help you through your week. For more information, visit podcastforbusiness.co.uk. Sit back and enjoy Podcast for Business. Like to share news about your business, event seminar or workshop? Simply email steve at stevetwynham.com. Well, it's a gorgeous morning in the wonderful city of Leeds. I'm sat in the park uh, plaza at Leeds uh, with Alex Besso from T-Rex Media. Good morning to you, Alex. How are you? Uh, Good morning, Steve. I'm great, thank you. How about yourself? I'm very well indeed, very well indeed. We're going to be talking... We're going to be talking about your company, what you do, uh, but let's do a little bit of an intro because you've got a really... I found it quite a staggering fact, and the listeners to the podcast might do, uh, about YouTube. What, What was it you'd like to share? Oh, that uh, YouTube is now the second most used search engine after Google. Wow. See, that's like amazing, isn't it? You know, there you go. You maybe learned something just in that short snippet. So, Alex, tell me a little bit about your company. What do you do? So, T-Rex Media House is a video production company which specialises in creating video content um, in YouTube content and accounts. So, we don't just film and make the videos, we help people to create their own videos, we help them edit their videos, and most importantly, get the most out of YouTube content. So, we help them optimise and work out what videos they need to be making to make sure they're found. And do you help them, actually, just for somebody that's not been involved in YouTube, do you help them set a YouTube account up? Yes, yeah, so we can do everything from uh, a complete startup package. So we make sure they get off the ground and running. It's so difficult nowadays, with you, especially with YouTube content. There's over 100 hours of video content uploaded every hour. So making sure that you're seen and heard has never been so difficult. So you need to make sure there's a the right strategy and planning in place to make sure they get the best outcome possible. And, and let's be honest, um, well, I can be honest, you maybe can't say this, but I can. Um, I see a lot of YouTube videos that are pretty damn poor. Yeah, yeah they're, they're filmed on a phone, they're whatever. Important to get one done properly, I guess, if you're going to make a really right impression. Yeah, it's just like when the microphone was first invented. <laughs> a microphone makes bad singers sound worse and good singers sound better. And YouTube is exactly the same. If you don't sing very well or create content very well, it's going to make you look even worse than it would be if you're creating good quality content. So that's where we can come in. We can help you create good quality content as well as actually doing it for you if that's what you want. We're happy to help people make sure they get the best out of it. If they want to use YouTube, I want to make sure that it's been it's done properly, you know? Yeah. And does, does doing something on YouTube like also help with your, like your Google rankings as well? Yeah, so the way Google's going forward, they want to make sure the advertising money is kept with them. They want to make sure, unless you're paying to have your Google, your um, company ranked on Google by paying for, for AdWords, um, they will actually, instead of sending them you to your website via normal SEO, they want to send you to YouTube where they'll get more money for the ads. So over the next coming year, you'll actually see the video coming up higher ranked than the actual normal SEO. The only thing will higher will come higher than the uh, video will be uh, paid search engine marketing. Okay, um, and some, some I heard you mention this morning about you'd been working with a client and helping them uh, praise. They were not have too long a video. Is, so, because A, I get a bit bored if it's too long, but you mentioned something else as well in there. Yeah, so basically, a lot of people get obsessed with views and mm. obsessed with Facebook is very good at the moment for giving you a three second view. What do you get with three seconds? It's, it's not a lot really. Mm. Uh, and YouTube changed their algorithm because of the old clickbait, which happened. People were saying the videos about something and it turns out it was nothing about that. Oh, I see. And so. What they do now is they work on watch time and percentage. So a lot of people post videos out 
for say 20 30 minutes long and they think well because it's going to be really long everyone's going to watch it all and we're going to look better because people watch all of it when actually only people watching say five minutes of a of a, of a 30 minute video you want to make sure you do a smaller video and people watch a more higher percentage of that video so people watch nine minutes of a 10 minute video is going to be a lot more than people watching 20 minutes of a 30 minute video it's all about that percentage and that makes youtube realize that that video is good content and actually we're going to show that to more people because more people have watched it all meaning they're going to watch more, more of the videos I mean, it's good quality content effectively when it comes down to okay so you're better doing you're better doing some shorter ones quality ones probably on a consistent basis I guess yeah definitely so people will post a video up straight away and go well why has nobody seen it and <laughs> the beauty of it is YouTube doesn't know how good your content is you've got no previous history to know that you put out good quality content so being consistent and knowing that say at a time every week you're going to post a new video YouTube will work and help that video and push it more as long as it's good quality content and people are watching that but it's not an overnight thing people talk about going viral you know, it takes ages to go viral. A lot of people will spend years to be becoming overnight, an overnight success, really. Um, and it's just being focused on it and don't become obsessed with AdSense. So when you hit 1,000 subscribers and 40,000 watch hours, you can then monetize your YouTube channel. But people get obsessed with using ads. You know, you're never going to make money from, from ads unless you're going to be spending the next 5, 10 years and making money. Think about digital products and your business and how you can make money off YouTube and just use that as an engine to drive people to your website or drive people to your products. So we had a gentleman who created cat who has a car channel and uh, he put an event on and that's how he started to make a lot of money from his YouTube channel and he only has 800 odd subscribers but he's creating a lot of money from just 800 people because it was the right people watching his videos. So people subscribing to his YouTube channel, is that what you mean? Yeah, so people were subscribed to his YouTube channel um, but he was making a lot of money from products which weren't on it, so he was putting events out for people to, to go to from his YouTube channel. He needed, I think, 50 people out of those 800 to go to his events. Got you. And so people get obsessed with the numbers game and, oh, I've got X amount of subscribers and X amount of views when... If you're a, a company which is targeting businesses in, in Manchester or Leeds, then you don't really need to have two, three million people watching your video. It's all about the right quality people watching it. 100 people would be better than a million. Yeah, get that. Yeah, because you want the right people watching it to either come to the events. And when people subscribe to the YouTube channel, then I, I see. I don't know this. Is is that free to subscribe to a YouTube channel? Yeah, it's completely free. So okay. it just means you'll be notified about. Um, basically you're saying I want to find out when the next video is okay. so you subscribe to it and you can see what's going to happen in the next you know the next video you'll get notified by YouTube saying um, Steve Twining released a, a new video this week Check okay that's scary right and uh, and in terms of that then but that's then from the client then can build a rapport with those people that are subscribing to his channel of course yeah definitely and, and the beauty of like we said at the beginning it's a search engine now so this is where YouTube comes into its own compared to other so social media platforms such as um, Instagram and Facebook, especially Facebook, is YouTube's a search engine, and so people are constantly searching for things on there. Around about 65% of content on YouTube is what we call educational content. So it's all the how-tos, tutorials, and people searching for how to find out some information. And basically, what they do is um, you become creating. Let me make sure I say this right. But they're constantly searching for certain keywords and topics. So people make content and just expect it to be seen and found. Mm -hmm. Whereas we can look at Google Words and search results and different trends to work out what people are searching for at what times and we can create a video to match those search topics. So instead of putting a video about this week in my business where no one's searching for that, it could be, um, for example, if it was a legal firm, how to deal with a divorce. Mm -hmm. You know, People will be searching for that topic and we match a video to that topic so it's constantly found. So if people search for every month, your video which has been posted six to 12 months down the line, is still being found every time. Whereas on Facebook and Instagram, you post a video and it's lost. It's gone. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's never really going to be found. And you might get a few little drips and drabs from now and then people looking for your Facebook, but YouTube is there. It's in your face straight away, constantly being, being shown to people. Okay. Now I guess in terms of for you to uh, meet with the clients, uh, I guess you do a little bit when you meet them, just a bit of a fact find on just what they want to get out of it, I guess. 
Yeah, so we, we work out exactly who they are, you know, what's different about them, what they want to achieve from their YouTube channel, because it can be different. Some people want to create a big brand awareness, so they do quite broad things, but some want to have a, an arsenal, really, to give to their clients. So these frequently answered, answered questions are so popular. So they say, oh, if you've got any questions, go look at our YouTube channel. And it keeps them engaged about their business. It's answering all the questions that they have, which means when they go to ask for the sale or go for the close, it's easy because all the answers have been, all the questions have been answered prior to, to even saying anything to them. And do you go to the client, or do the client come to you, or staff question does it vary? <laughs> <laughs> each client's each client's different. You know, uh, if they've got an office, I love to go in and immerse myself in their business and work out exactly what's going on in regards to, to, to their sort of yeah. business and how they see themselves coming down the line. Usually they have an idea of who they want, so they go on YouTube and have a look at videos which are out there and say, look, I like these, I don't like these, or I like this celebrities doing these types of videos, I want to emulate that, or, or vice versa. Usually there's a, a key person of influence, we call them. Um, I always think of, of Joe Wicks, you know, <laughs> Joe Wicks, but he's become the expert. He's, he's released the second best book released in the past 10 years. Has he really? Yeah, yeah. and that's just because he gives out free content and his workouts are all free on YouTube, but yet he still makes a hundred, probably makes millions of pounds every year from his workouts, which are all free online, but they're just there and it helps promoting it and it's, it's mad how he's become a, a key figure in the fitness world from just putting out videos on YouTube. But, but Alex, not only do you sort of do the videos, you actually, you actually train companies, don't you, as well? So it's not just you filming and walking away if they want some guidance and training you do you deliver that yeah so for a lot of businesses or individuals but especially a small business they don't quite have the budget to have a videographer on site every month or or every two or three months but what we do is we can either do what we call a content day so we'll come in for a full day capture eight twelve weeks worth of video content and then we can edit for them and, and schedule it out or some people like to be taught how to create their own videos how to edit their own videos so we can teach them how to edit how to film or if they just want to film them themselves we can edit it for them and then optimize them and that's the key is the optimizing those videos to be found make sure that the keywords are in there to be searched and to be found and um, so we don't want you to have post a video six months ago and it only has 40 views you know that's a yeah. lot of money to spend or a lot of time to spend on something which has got no ROI um, but we can be part of that and we can help you train you or we can become your own personal videographers depending on what the business wants to do okay and I guess you work you, you work across various sectors yeah we've got, <laughs> we've got um, insurance brokers through to car enthusiasts and um, to financial advisors we've we've covered it all really it's a uh, it's a bit like business really. once you learn how to do it once you try and emulate it and, and repeat the process really and well just, just have fun along the way and that's the most that's the key bit have fun. have fun have fun business should always be about fun yeah and you know if you put yourself off put yourself on camera you know enjoy it you know be yourself don't worry about being this perfect person you know no one's perfect and the way the industry is going now is you know people like people you know gone of the days of oh here's that big brand that everyone wants to talk about they want to see the people behind it. that's why these 15 year olds 20 year olds are making millions of youtube just to be themselves and just having fun and people like that you know it's it's that time of uh, that time currently in society where just enjoy other people yeah. having fun. be natural yeah be natural definitely. yeah just before we finish though you touched on this bit about so many views and monetizing it and that you know because i've watched the, the videos and then these ads pop up so, so how do those ads get there does do, is it because there's so many views or whatever and then some advertising company goes bang we'll bang something on there i'm um, waving my hand about here like i'm <laughs> describing it yeah so there's, there's loads of different ways that google uses its advertising so um it mainly comes down to the viewer so google will know who you are in regards to your age and so they will show an ad which a company's paid for. We want to target people who are ages between, say, 40 and 45, male, married, in the Leeds city region. So they will show a video for it. So um, there is a few channels will have, um, they'll be worth a lot more. So if, say, if it's a car enthusiast, enthusiast channel, if they want to play an ad on it, you know, Mercedes, McLaren might spend more money to make sure their ads are shown on their channel. But how a lot of brands get around this so there's, there's less competition they go direct to the to the creator the content creator themselves and say i want to sponsor your video next video for the next six ah. weeks if mclaren wanted to sponsor a car because he asked them to send them out to go drive a mclaren somewhere and they'll sponsor it and say look it's all been sponsored by mclaren and um, please 
be part of it. And the same with sort of beauty vloggers, you know, yeah. they send them their own their makeups and their different like, um, products to, and sh- to showcase on those videos because it's cheaper yeah. to then give it the money to Google to show it because there's no not less ROI sort of on, on, on those if that, if that makes, makes sense, sense. And, yeah. and, and if an ad appears on a YouTube video that you've done mm-hmm. do you get paid for that ad appearing you will do as long as your channel has been monetized so you need to have a thousand subscribers yeah. um, and you need to have 40,000 watch hours so you need 30, 40 hours watch hours in a 12 month period yeah. um, yes you will receive a percentage of that but you need to make say 70 quid you might need 20,000 views right you know. okay but the beauty of it is once you've made that video it's gone but because of the search engine it can keep coming up so you can be making money off videos you did two years ago effectively uh, and that's the beauty of this sort of passive income that comes from it um, but again uh, do not become obsessed with the, the ads yeah it's not insta I know it's not the real reason why you're doing it that's yeah. a bonus isn't yeah it? Th- think about it you know if you get a million people watching your video have a call to action to your website to purchase something. You know, if you're a business coach, why not get your guide, which is a fiver, off your website? You know, if you get a million people watching your video, convert 10, 10% of those go through to your website. You know, 1% of that turns into it, and you're only charging a fiver. Still might make 50 grand. Yeah. See, that's valuable information, you see, because I think lots of people that, that I have met when they're talking about YouTube, they think, they think they're going to be a millionaire because of the ads yeah. but it's not there's other ways of doing it isn't there yeah it's thinking outside the box and you know most people are business people and have a think about what can I promote with this as, a, as my engine and as a way to communicate with my audience but how can I you know monetize that think outside the box you know is yeah. it an event you know is it putting an event on somewhere talking about if I can say if you're a makeup artist doing an event say come and learn tricks of the trades and on them um, doing the best makeup tutorials um, or if you're a car enthusiast Come, come to a track day and meet the cars and get in the car you know there's so many different ways to to monetize it but sometimes it just needs a bit of imagination Steve yeah yes yeah there's a the great phrase you know thinking is the hardest thing to do that's why a lot of people don't do it yeah. that's true yeah, that's why you're here yeah so how, how can people get in touch with you and find out more about what you do yeah go on my website which is www.trxmediahouse.co.uk or most importantly drop me an email uh, Alex at trxmediahouse.co.uk. Let me know what you want to have a chat about, and I'll happily have a coffee and have a sit down with anyone who wants to chat about YouTube as long as I've got enough time for me to explain <laughs> to talk it. About. Yeah. Cool. Alex, thanks for joining us today. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. Like to share news about your business, event seminar, or workshop? Simply email steve at stevetwinem.com. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this podcast for business. If you would like to feature your business in podcast for business and the business hour podcast, I would love to hear from you. Simply email steve at stevetwinem.com. The business hour podcast is produced and presented by Steve Twine. Copyright applies.